Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube, man? What is good? It is your boy, Blix Action, man, and I am back with another YouTube video, man. In today's video, we're going to be talking about WWE 2K23 and why the DLC pack dates are upsetting to most of the fans. So if you haven't already, man, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel as well. Now let's get straight into the f video. So most of the fans are upset with the dates of the DLC packs being released. And the reason for that being is because most of these DLC packs have superstars that are currently on the roster that should be in the game immediately. Take for example, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt is in the DLC 4 pack, which is the reveal with Wyatt pack, which comes out July 19th. Now Bray Wyatt is on the SmackDown main roster and is currently in a feud with Bobby Lashley. Now most fans believe since he's on the main roster and also in a feud with Bobby Lashley that they shouldn't have to wait July 19th to play as Bray Wyatt. Now, if you look at the first DLC pack, which is the Steiner Road pack, which is to be released April 19th, they have superstars like Scott Steiner and Rick Steiner, and most fans believe these superstars could have been in the later date DLC pack, since they are not currently active on the main roster. Now, another thing that got fans upset is that Bronson Reed, Candice LeRae, Emma, Mia Yim, and Tegan Knox are not in WWE 2K23 come lunch day, nor in the DLC pack. And the funny thing about it is that four of those superstars were in WWE 2K22 last year. But yeah, I don't know, y'all, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Below. make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel as well because i will be bringing you a lot of wwe 2k23 content once it drops and it's been your boy blix action and i'm signing off y'all peace